in this video I'm gonna show you how to connect sales.js application to MySQL first of all you need to open the data stores JS we need to define couple of the configuration for MySQL database first of all we need to specify the adapter the name of the adapter is sales MySQL because I'm gonna use MySQL and you also need to provide the user here if you have any user name specific if you specified any user you need to provide that if you have any password for the database you need to specify that you can you also need to specify the port number which is 3306 and finally we also need to mention the host I'm gonna use local host the last property is database I'm going to write the name of the database is portal DB. I did not create this database yet. So first of all, we need to create this database portal DB. I'm going to use SQL pro tool to work with MySQL client. Add a database. The name of the database is portal DB. Cool. Now we need to install this adapter. We did not install it yet. Open new terminal and execute this command hey npm npm i minus s sales mysql hey npm please give me the sales mysql package the sales mysql package has installed successfully so now we need to open the models.js so we have specified the migrate to alter let me run the application by using sales lift. What is wrong? We are using the beta version of 1.0. Okay, sales is right. If you will get this error, you need to install this package. So first of all, we need to uninstall the previous package. I don't want to use that. npm uninstall minus minus save sales mysql please uninstall the previous version now you need to install the beta version of sales mysql sales mysql has installed successfully now let me test the application i'm going to run the application by using sales lift incredible application is running it has successfully auto migrated my models I'll talk more about these properties of migrate let me refresh my database boom here we have to do model I did not specify any property here in the to do model I'll talk more about this archive so we have successfully generated tables here 